All right, guys. Who wants to go mini trucking? Hopefully, everybody's got their hands up. Because on this episode of Puglisi Speed Shot, we're back on the Nissan, and we're about to knock out phase one of this build. So you guys see how I'm trying to break this into phases, you know, so it doesn't look like I'm making things up as I go along. I'm sure you guys already figured that out. But, uh, well, got the Le Mans outside. She's putting some miles on her. She's been doing good. You guys saw the last episode. So since that's holding strong for right now, we'll see. And while I'm working on the next phase for that, figured, uh, well, I guess I'll finish what I started on this. That's probably a good idea. So, last episode, you saw we did a clutch slave cylinder, master cylinder after we got it in and tried out the new winch and all that kind of stuff, right? Pretty exciting stuff. Well, for me anyways, because uh, I didn't know how any of that was going to turn out. But, and let's see, I left it, put the master and the slave cylinder in, and we let it bleed overnight. And that didn't work at all. It works on the old cars, right? With the wheel cylinders or whatever, you know, you keep them cracked. Overnight, you come back, tighten them up, you're gone. Probably should have thought this one out a little bit better, but the bleed port isn't on the highest part of... Now you end up. So, we're going to do something a little different called blocking. So we're going to use a C-clamp to close up the uh, slave cylinder, get the kid down here, pump the clutch a whole bunch of times, and do it the way we should have done it the first time. I was trying something, guys. You don't learn unless you try it, I guess, right? So, uh, and then we've got this mess going on over here still. So, we'll, uh, the kid's not down here right now. Obviously, you guys see him? No. He's in his room. I don't know. Hopefully, he edited a video. I don't know what he's doing. But, uh, yeah, we're going to um, start by throwing this fuel pump in. And we'll get him down here to bleed that stuff with us later. So here we go. All right, guys, we're going to play everybody's favorite game. Old part. New part. All right, obviously, this right, is what came in that little box there. And it looks absolutely nothing like this. So I was kind of hoping to get this whole thing and just whoop, and then drop the new one in. That was my plan. This is what I got. They do make that. It's like 200 bucks. This was about 40. Yeah, you got it. So this is kind of a universal type thing. Looking at it, I got. Let's go take it out of the container. I know. There's two little connectors, little spade connectors there, and then you got uh, this guy for the hose. And here you got your connector your hose, some little heat shrink swedge things, a couple hose clamps, and a filter. And this looks like some kind of mounting stuff. So if you look over here, it's not very different. Here's the hose. Granted, it's all, everything's disgusting. So this is all about to get cleaned up. But, this, I believe, started out as that-ish. And that's an all fuel. This, this new fuel is terrible. Like I said, well, when I, when I got the truck, the tank was full and it stunk and it was yellow. It was not good. It was like varnish already. So this is why this all looks like this. I don't know how long the truck was sitting. The guy I bought it from only had it for like two weeks. So he really couldn't verify it either. So we're kind of just making this up a little bit as we go along. What else is new, guys? So looking at this, I'm assuming... So that's something to do with the uh, that guy, the gas gauge. 
This is my pump, and it's just simple. You know, hot on the ground, little hose going up. I'd like to say I can't screw this up, but we both, well, we all know I can. So, I'm going to start by pulling this apart, cleaning everything, and then trying to put this all back together. Let's see how that works out. Well, guys, if you ask me, it uh, worked out pretty good. Look at this guy, huh? All cleaned up. We got the connections all done. Everything. All the rust is out of there. Everything is just scrubbed up, cleaned up. And uh, I'm going to get the new kit back here ready to go in. If you take a look over here, well, that's what came out of there. Can you believe that? Eh, I think I know what was wrong with the uh, fuel pump and why it failed. So, that being said, this is a good stopping point because it's about 10 o'clock. I got to work tomorrow. So, uh, see you guys tomorrow. All right, I'm going to bet that there's not a single person watching this that really thinks this is the next day. Uh, it's like two weeks later. Shout out to PA two weeks ago, I think. Uh, spent a little time with the folks. It was good. I haven't seen them in a while. I'll get to see my brother real quick. Uh, the road glide up there. That was nice. And um, last weekend, what did I do? Went on a ride to Colonial Beach. And then went over to the in-laws, fixed the lawnmower, and cut up some tree stuff. That wasn't bad either. Yeah. Right. So uh, now we're back in the shop, and I'm hoping that I like remember how this thing came apart. I probably do. It's not very, not that complicated, but uh, we're about to find out. All right, guys. So we uh, we found out that yeah, I got us back together. But remember what this thing looked like, right? This is what I pulled out of this thing. Like, I don't, it, it doesn't even really resemble a fuel pump anymore. So, it took me a little bit, and I got a little aggravated, figuring out how some of this on the bottom went together and whatnot. Not a whole bunch online, there's like one video, and uh, I'll link it here because uh, I, I went run around this thing so many times I didn't record it going together. But... Um, so here's your power wires coming in, you got your hose coming through, and then you got your, your sock down there, and here's the actual pump. Uh, there was something missing when, uh, when I got the truck, and I didn't realize it when I got the truck, but I realized it when I went to go put this together. So, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Leave in the comments what you think is missing on this assembly here, and uh, we'll send you a free sticker pack if you're right. So that about takes us to the end of the fuel system work for tonight. Because we're at a standstill. We uh, got the fuel pump together, but that's all we can do. We're waiting on a gasket for the top of the tank. Um, I didn't order it when I should have. You can go back and watch uh, Tuesday morning's tech tip this week and see all about that. But uh, should be in here. We should have it here in the next couple days. And once we do, we'll clean the tank out. I really don't feel like messing with that right now. It's getting a little late, and we'll get to that. So we'll clean that tank out, and when the gas comes in, we'll put it all together. And hopefully we'll have a flawlessly running fuel system. Maybe. But until then, we're going to do some work on the clutch here. Like I said, I was going to show you guys... So I tried just doing the gravity thing, it didn't seem to work. Um, so that's how I was gonna show you what blocking was. So here's what that is. So I got a C-clamp here, right? And you completely just depress it like this, hook it up, pump the clutch up, and you should be getting all the air out of it. Every last little bubble should be out of that slave cylinder because there's nowhere for it to go. It's actually like compressed more than it ever would be in the truck. So you do that, hook it up, um, and then just bleed the, you know, at the uh, pedal, and you should be all set. However, 
Um, I can't really get in there. And I went to go do it, and it just it was it wasn't working out for a number of reasons. But uh, so kids gonna come down here, and uh, then, you know, like uh, hang with that guy a little bit and get a little work out of him. So he's gonna come down here. Um, we'll do it the old fashioned way. All right, so uh, this guy made it down here. Yep. Man, a few words. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to uh, try and bleed this clutch out. We, uh, what I try, I tried to do it myself. So I like got my little uh, little baseball bat there from when I was a kid, and I crammed that in there, holding the clutch down, and things seemed to go a little south at that point in the game. Um, some little clip came out of there. And I don't think it's connected. I, I think it's coincidence. Not sure. But uh, we're going to see what's up. So he's going to get in there. I'm going to get underneath it. We're going to bleed it, you know, the traditional way. He'll pump it down there and get a little pressure. I'll get under here. See, I got my bucket in place there. And, uh, yeah, I'll bring it under here. Why not? Oh, I got a light in here and everything. So, well, there's the uh, slave cylinder. So we'll, uh, you see there's a little bit of mess when I was trying to do it myself. Not successful. So, we're going to have him uh, do all that. I'll bleed it. See how this goes. So, things have gone terribly awry. Not really sure what's wrong with this thing. So, like I said, I went to do it myself. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I don't think I did anything terrible. Um, it just, uh, it's just not working. So now the clutch pedal is wanting to stay on the floor. He can get a little bit of pressure. We get a little bit of air out, and then right back. Um, I mean, the reservoir is full. All that kind of, you know, all day one stuff is, is good to go. But then I'm looking at it, I'm underneath there, and the, the clutch fork arm looks like it's fully extended. So now I'm like, there was, did it pop off? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I really don't want to pull this thing apart. But uh, right now I'm kind of out of time because it's about 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm definitely out of patience. And the kid was down here. He's wandering around here somewhere. I don't know. But uh, he might have snuck back upstairs. Up to, I don't know. Back up to the house. Who knows? He's a sneaky one, this guy. But uh, no, he's actually right off camera over here. <laughs> he's just, he refuses to make any noise. He's just smiling. Because he's a man of few words. But, uh, huh? What? See, told you he's over there. So, um, yeah. One thing about, and, and I'm going to say hot rodding, even though I'm, I'm starting to retract everything I said about this thing in the first video about it. Um, things don't always go right, you know? Um, you know, you can watch some of them shows, right? You know, little guys, uh, uh, the guys, some of the guys make up that stuff with them. Some cable guys, you know? Oh, and it always, you know, of course, in that one hour time frame, it works out perfectly. Uh, in real life, it doesn't do that. And most of you guys that are watching this know that. Um, in real life, you throw something across the shop, you get mad, drink a beer. Um, I'm, I'm almost out, so that's a problem, too. Um, and you got to, but the right thing to do is walk away, you know. Uh, and I'm getting frustrated, and Andrew's giving me the look because he knows I'm getting frustrated. Uh, that I just need to stop. So... That's what we're going to do. Uh, I wish I could tell you guys this thing was running and driving great, but it's not. I want to push it in the woods right now, but I won't because, well, I'll still see it. It's fall, so I won't be away for very long. But, um, yeah, first day of fall. Nice. Way off topic. But either way, that's what you got to do. You, um, you got to know, know when to walk away, right? Andrew, can Kenny Rogers say that? No one to walk away. 
No way to run. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. My dad's a fan. So, you yeah, know, he watches the show, so he'll he'll appreciate the reference. But uh, but he's not he's not part of the best damn band in the whole land. That's from my mom. She's a Charlie Daniels fan. So with all of that, now I'm just rambling. It's very obvious that I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm aggravated. So we're going to end this right here. So thanks for watching. Um, this episode probably kind of sucked for me. Maybe you guys like watching me struggle. Andrew does. Oh, he's, he's shaking his head now. All right, so I'm going to go up to the house, get some eat, and uh, try and forget about all this for right now. For you guys, uh, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, tell a friend, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.